Happy holidays, y'all. It's Christmas season, y'all. December, you know what's good. College football prediction time, y'all. You're not going to see much more of these, actually, until 2020's football season. But here are the conference championships for this week, y'all. We have 21 Virginia at ranked one Clemson. Y'all, Clemson's going to win this football game. I think that the biggest takeaway of this game is going to be how much Clemson beats them by, whether it's a large amount, a small amount, or if Virginia upsets them, you know, that'll shake up the playoff and, you know, gonna, well, Clemson won't be in it then because that's just life, sadly. Um, yeah, but I still think regardless, Clemson's going to win the game 41-17. to 17. Okay, guys, up next is Ranked 2 Ohio State up against Ranked 8 Wisconsin. Y'all, Wisconsin has actually been looking really good lately, especially with that win over Minnesota. I think that this game is actually going to be close, and it might expose Ohio State and show that they shouldn't be number one. However, I think Ohio State's still going to win it at the end of this game, so I think Ohio State will go on a final scoring drive and win it, you know, um, 34-27. to Alrighty, guys, up next is Rank 5 Georgia up against Rank 3 LSU. Y'all, Georgia is a really good football team. LSU is a really good football team. Georgia's issue lately has been their offense, particularly running offense. They haven't really been able to get much going on the run. Yet, you can look at the Georgia Tech game and see the 52-7. to I don't know if that guy that got ejected is a really good player or not, but I do know that a Georgia player got in a fight against Georgia Tech player. I don't know who that was either. Which it pretty much doesn't matter since Georgia Tech went three and nine, but um, yeah, I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're gonna have a huge impact on whether or not they're not in for the first half. But I think that Georgia can get some stuff going on the running side of the ball, um, because LSU honestly their defense is not that good. Like I actually looked at it. Clemson holds their opponents to lower scores than Ohio State's been able to do to theirs, and LSU has been able to do compared to Ohio State. Ohio State's got a better defense. LSU, I think, allows more than three touchdowns a game on average. That's definitely going to be the range of this. I think that LSU is going to survive. This is a really close game here, guys. I think that LSU is going to win it, not, but not without a fight from Georgia. I think that it, the final score will be 38-31. to 31. Alrighty, guys. Up next is Ranked 4 Utah versus Ranked 13 Oregon. Honestly, this matchup would be so equaled out if Oregon didn't get that loss against Arizona State. But at the same time, Oregon did beat USC, and Utah did, in fact, lose to USC. Which, USC now is actually a pretty good-looking team. I got them at rank 20. So, you don't just look at that game and say, hey, whatever, when it comes to both of these two teams playing USC. Um... I think that Utah is the better team, though, here. And the only reason why I don't have Oregon above Auburn and Alabama is because of the fact of Auburn beat Oregon. So, I think the final outcome of this game is going to be Utah winning it 37-28. to Up next is Rank 7 Baylor. Going up against rank 6 Oklahoma in a rematch here. And, you know, the last time these two teams played each other, I was just like, Oklahoma's going to win. 
watched the first half of the game, I was like, Baylor's going to win. But Oklahoma came back from a 25-point deficit and beat Baylor. If I told you this and you know nothing about football other than, like, who's usually good, you would probably think that I'm telling you a complete and utter lie right now. But, nope, that's actually what happened. Baylor, though, is going to win this football game. I think that they truly are a better team. I just think in the second half, they just got ahead of herself. I think that all of the players were like, Oh my god, we're beating Oklahoma! By 25 points! And Jalen Hurts has, like, fumbled the ball. He's thrown an interception. And just, he's got in an interception. We've gotten turnovers because of Jalen on every single way possible, almost. Baylor got ahead of herself the first time. I think if they don't get ahead of herself, I think that they truly are the better team in here. And if Utah were to lose and LSU were to win, I think that they, the Baylor Bears, would be in the college football playoff. Which would be really interesting. But, yeah. Enough with that being said. Baylor is going to win this football game. The final score is going to be... 37-34. Up next is ranked 23, Cincinnati at ranked 18, Memphis. These two teams literally played each other a week ago, and Memphis ended up getting the win in that. So, I kind of wonder who's going to win this football game, honestly. Memphis is only lost, I believe, is to Temple. Cincinnati's lost to Memphis, which is who they're going to lose to again, most likely. However, don't count Cincinnati out. They're a really good team. Like, they might have got blown out by Ohio State 42 nothing, but that's Ohio State, the second best team in the nation, in my opinion. First best team to the playoffs, opinion. Memphis is going to win this football game. I'd say 37 to 27. Literally all I think the difference is going to be is a field goal compared to the last score. In the case that Cincinnati does in fact beat Memphis, depending on how good Boise State looks against this Hawaii team, Boise State might be able to get into the New Year's Six Bowl. I think that they are going to be able to beat Hawaii and the final score to this game will probably be somewhere like... ...37-21. to Boise State will win the game 37-21. to That's what I think is going to happen. And also, why do you play 13 games Hawaii? Did you play the same team twice? Alright. I currently don't see... Look at that. Actually, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute! Do you see this, people? I didn't know these two teams have already played before. Alright, scratch that. Boise State wins this game. 41 to 27. Alright, but for real, why does Hawaii play 13 games? This is just weird. And I don't see, like, an identical um team on here other than Boise State because, you know, they kind of are playing each other again. And, yeah. Um, why the heck do you have 13 football games? Hold on a minute. What if there's a year where Hawaii is a really good football team? Like, really, really good. They play their 13 games, go unbeaten, beat whoever they play in the Mountain West, and go to a bowl game, obviously, because if you're 6-6, six and six, or in Hawaii's case, 7-6, or six, or 6-7, six and seven, I don't know. If Hawaii goes 6-7, and seven, do they get a bowl game? Hawaii is a really confusing team now. Like... 
And people have to travel so far just to play at your stadium. I just realized that. Unless we're in Hawaii. Enough with Hawaii. Yeah, I'm done talking about them. Okay, people. Last but not least for that. Why did I say that? Last but not least for this video, people, is Louisiana Lafayette Raging. Dot, dot, dot. At 22 Appalachian State. I don't know why this team lost to, um, frickin' Georgia Southern. <laughs> but guess who they did beat? This team right here. <laughs> and guess what record they got, guys? And guess who just beat them? Looky here, it's Clemson! Yay! And look at this. Four... And eight, you suck. And you're going to stay at a sucking pace. I think any more of the best thing y'all could do is about if that Panthers head coach goes back to college football head coaching. If y'all pick him up, that might be good. But I think Will Muschamp is done. He got... I, was he the head coach of Florida when they won those two natties? I don't know. But yeah, let's just go ahead, go back a lot. We're backtracking here. Okay, back to this, people. Appalachian State's going to win this game 45-21. to 21. I don't really need to talk about it that much. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah. Y'all. I will, in fact, predict this game next week when it comes down to it unless somehow they decide to move navy out of the playoff then i won't predict it but i am going to predict all the bowl games so yeah be sure to stay tuned for that um i think that game where byu plays to be announced like tbd yeah that team's a really good team you can't even tell what the heck they're doing but you know good and well they're a good team. May clap some kids, probably. Um, yeah. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for your cringy boy. Nova1890. And, yeah. That's gonna be it, y'all. Goodbye.